Okay, so number 20 was the McCartney family home from 1955 to 1964. The McCartneys actually moved around Liverpool quite a lot. And one of the main reasons why they had so many moves was due to the job that Paul's mother Mary had. She was a district midwife. And this was in the days before uh, what we now call in Britain the National Health Service. And many people, particularly working class people, would have their babies delivered at home at that time. And there would be midwives living and working in the community and going out to people's houses to deliver the babies. And that was exactly the type of job that Paul's mother Mary had. But that meant that they often moved around the city. But this was one of the houses they spent their most time at. And this was, in fact, their final house in Liverpool because sadly, uh, mother, uh, Paul's mother Mary died within a year of moving to this house. And this was, therefore, Paul's final house in the city itself. Now, the room to which I referred on the coach where much of their early songwriting took place is the room downstairs at the front of the house. In fact, there are photographs in that room that were taken at the time by Paul's brother Mike uh, and then of Paul and John in there strumming the guitars, writing songs. One of the photos, you can even see the words to I saw her standing there on a piece of paper in front of them. Now at the back of the house is quite a small garden. Anyone that's familiar with McCartney's album, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard, may recall on the front cover of that album is a photograph of Paul sitting on a deck chair uh, in a garden. Well that again was taken by his brother Mike through the back kitchen window of this particular house. A question that very often gets asked at this house is, having been to John's house, and uh, you'll recall on the side of the house is a large blue plaque denoting the fact that John Lennon lived there. Why is there no blue plaque here? Is Paul any less important than John? Well, there are uh, very, very strict rules about blue plaques in the United Kingdom. Uh, one of them is you have to be dead 20 years to have one. So Paul doesn't want one just yet. <laughs> <laughs> it will come eventually, but not just yet. But that's why there's no blue plaque here. And equally, why he didn't see one at George's, he's not been dead long enough to even be considered for a blue plaque on that house. But anyway, please feel free to carry on taking photos. And when you're ready, we'll wander back to the coach. <laughs> <laughs>